Ta-da! Hello everyone, my name is Anang Shalimya and guess what? I recently got my nails done and look how beautiful the design is. I am super thrilled to share about this experience in this video because this is the first time in my life that I got my nails painted in a nail salon. Previously all I did, the maximum I did was just paint my nails with a nail polish, that's it. But this is the first time I got acrylic extensions and it feels amazing. So this video is going to be about my experience of how it felt uh, when I got my nails done for the first time. So watch on and if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments. A few days back, my best friend Stuti came to visit me and she was very interested in getting her nails done. She told me several times that uh, she wants to get her nails done because it feels nice, it looks amazing. I had never considered uh, it myself because I'm not the kind of person who wants to put effort every day in maintaining her nails. I get very annoyed when the nail paint chips. So I just don't paint my nails. That's the easy way out for me. But then Stuti told me that when you get ac acrylic nail extensions, the color doesn't chip. Uh, the only way you can remove it is if you go to a salon and get it removed or you have to outgrow it and then cut it with a nail cutter. So it doesn't get chipped. It's like permanent nail paint, which sounded amazing. I wanted to try it out and that's why when we went out uh, last week, we went to the tip and toe nail salon to get our nails done. I didn't know what to expect when I entered the salon and the first thing that caught my attention was the pictures of all these celebrities on the walls. There were pictures of so many Bollywood uh, celebrities that I was shocked that these people had come here to get their nails done and I was also there at the same place. This was a very interesting feeling and made me feel very rich and posh because I'd never been to a place like that. See, they offered us a catalogue of the designs of the nails that they have on their store. And there I learned that there are two types of nail extensions. One is acrylic extensions and one is na uh, gel nail extensions. So I don't know what is gel nail extension because I didn't do it. I did the acrylic one. After we selected our designs, uh, Stuti and I selected our designs, we asked for the price. And uh, they said it was about 2000 rupees for just getting the extension. And if you wanted to get uh, your nails painted as well, that would be something extra, about 200 rupees per nail. So the total bill when it came at the end, it was about 3,500 rupees just for these nails. And I was so shocked. I've never spent so much in just looking good. At the beginning, it felt very unnecessary. Like why would anyone want to spend 3,500 on nails? But right now, I just can't stop looking at them because they are so beautiful. And it gives me some kind of pleasure in knowing that I can do whatever I want. I can do the dishes, I can wash clothes and I know the nail paint won't chip which is a very interesting and very unfamiliar experience for me. So yeah, that is how I feel right now after getting the nails done. Now I want to share about the experience of getting the nails done. So we went to the salon, we selected the style that we liked best. I chose one blue nail paint because I feel blue goes with every color. Stuti chose maroon. I think it looks amazing. And then I wanted design on only one nail because too much of design looks way too gaudy for everyday use and I have no plans. Currently with the Omicron cases rising up, I don't think I'm going to go anywhere. I'm going to stay at home and record videos and talk to you people. So I didn't want too much fancy design, but since it was my first time getting extensions, I wanted to feel a little bit posh and a little bit different from the usual nail paint styles. And that's why I got this interesting little golden swirls right here in the third nail. And it looks interesting in my opinion. So after we selected the designs, uh, the first step was that the lady, she pasted the acrylic nails here with some kind of gum. It was very weird because I've never experienced something like that. And then she asked me what size, what length I want them to be. So because I do a lot of uh, work with my hands, I do, did not want uh, very long nail extensions because they would be impractical. So I chose the... Uh, 
I chose the length which I have also grown my real nails to and it's not too long if you can see it's just uh, the normal nail length that I have done in my life so I know that what to expect with this nail length I know it wouldn't be impractical after that she filed our nails so that the surface of my own nails and the acrylic extensions is similar uh, after after doing that she also filled my real nails uh, because the extensions were at the end of my real nails right so the top of my real nails was and the extension they were on two different surfaces so there was some form of an acrylic powder that was mixed with some form of an acrylic liquid and that mixture was applied on top of my own nails so now if you can see the whole nail is coated with acrylic it is not real human nail my real human nails are inside these acrylic extensions so that is the reason it doesn't get chipped because probably it's difficult to chip paint on acrylic i am not sure of the science behind this but yeah that is how it was done and after the nails were filed completely and the whole surface was also maintained uh, it was cut uh, the lady cut my nails to the shape that i wanted i wanted the square edges because my nails are naturally rounded i didn't want the same design after getting extensions so i got the square edges which look very different from how my natural nails are uh, after cutting the final uh, step was painting the nails so i didn't see exactly what kind of nail paint they used but it looked a little bit different from the usual nail paint we buy it is probably something else because otherwise how else would it last so long after the painting was done she brought a collection of some small golden swirls she used the tweezer to put the swirls on my nails and i think they just stuck there and then a final layer of transparent coating was applied on the nails so that the surface is even and that's it the whole process took about 1 hour to get completed the uh, the lady who was working with my nails was very meticulous i'm pretty sure it must have taken a lot of work and that's why when the final bill came i wasn't too surprised because i knew that some person is spending 1 hour of their time in just doing my nails and uh, there's also so much acrylic and powder and liquid products involved so i think the price is sort of justified but i'm not sure if this is something i would keep doing again and again because maintaining your nails takes a lot of effort you cannot remove them at home you have to remove them in the salon and just going to the salon to getting to get your nails removed takes about 600 rupees so it is not for me i am not someone who is super interested in fashion or super interested in looking good all the time so i think i would give the nails a pass for now but yeah like it was a very interesting experience and the tip and toe nail salon did a very good job the ladies there were very friendly they told us some stories of previous clients and they answered all my questions patiently because it was my first time and i really had a lot of questions like how to maintain these nails what are the best practices to do to make sure it doesn't get chipped etc etc uh, i don't have any complaints it was a very interesting experience i would probably get them removed in about 3 weeks that is how long acrylic nail extensions last about 2 to 3 weeks uh, so i would probably get them removed and at this point in my life this might be the last time i'm doing it but i'm very happy with the end result how they turned out and if you are looking to get acrylic nail extensions then i would suggest that definitely go ahead every person has a different experience uh, and every person has a different threshold of the kind of effort they are willing to put in so if you don't mind spending about 3000 rupees uh, every 3 weeks in the nail parlor then definitely you should go and get your nails done because after we came back suti and i couldn't stop gushing over how pretty our nails look we took so many pictures we took so many videos and we still didn't have enough because really like my natural nails would never look this good they would never stay this good for so long because if i put nail polish it just starts chipping the next day onwards so this is something that is very worth the amount spent and uh 
yeah that's it it was a very interesting experience i've never tried it before so i'm happy i got my nails done so i know this video was very different from the kind of videos i usually make and i would love to know your thoughts on this Do, would you like to see more such lifestyle related videos on my channel or should i stick to making content about writing and freelancing let me know in the comments your feedback would help me design my youtube channel better so i can serve you better and so i can give you videos that you enjoy watching if you'd like to support my work the buy me a coffee link is in the description of this video so you can feel free and donate as much as you want so i can keep making videos for you that's all for this time i'll see you again soon until then stay awesome and keep smiling cheers